So four years ago, my family and I moved to Ireland from Bethlehem, U.S. We actually did have the star up on the hill, except ours had a plug on it. And the first question that most people ask is, why did you leave the States, and how did you find yourself in rural County Sligo? Uh, there's a lot of reasons for this, and, and actually even some great stories. My wife bought this house on the internet in a day when I was out of town, that is it, right there. Um, but the, the main reason that we came, and it's probably no surprise to all of you, is the Gillette Women's Venus Razor. Um, I was actually at a design conference in, in New York, and the Gillette team got up and they talked about the millions that they had spent on doing research to find the ultimate women's shaving experience. Um, immediately following this, a guy by the name of Bruce Mao stood up and he said, this is about massive change. Um, this is about design changing the social problems that we have. And to make this point, he was standing there with a glass of water and he said, I'm actually drinking recycled sewage in this glass of water. Um, and he looked out in an audience much like this and he said, we have all the creativity and power in this room to do anything. What are you going to do? And this really stuck with me, because in your life, you, you have certain wake-up calls. I had my own personal wake-up call. And when you're working in the States, and 1,800 hour weeks aren't uncommon, they start to get to you, you start to get sick. And I was pondering this, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And it's not like things were bad. Uh, one day, you find yourself working at a great company like Crayola, that's me, dressed up like a wizard magic mint, but I got replaced by inchworm, right? And um, the next day you find yourself on, on a gurney going in for emergency, emergency surgery. Sometimes you feel like you're turning. Now we're not, my wife and I aren't economic strategists, so we thought we would wait. We decided to maybe move in 1994. We decided to wait until 2006 once the economic boom was over. And then we also decided both to start our businesses in the depth of the recession. But um, I'm telling you right now, timing has nothing to do with it. It's just an excuse, right? You probably would be hard pressed to find a company that didn't start in a recession. GE, FedEx, Microsoft, even Kermit the Flock Frog started in a recession, right? But I didn't know until I was doing this presentation as a self help book. Um, the Hopi Indians, they actually don't believe, they don't have words for past, present, and future in their culture. And actually, they believe this idea of living on the edge in which you're manifesting what happens next, that you've got an active role in what happened. It's either you're making it happen or things are moving behind you. Uh, Gaelic culture, dividing, dividing the year up into two halves. We've got the dark half of the year and it's the light half of the year. We just celebrated Beltane on May Day. This is the time of the birth, birth of new ideas and actually astronomically that day is today, May 7th. My wife always says to me before I talk or I go to an event, she says, she whispers to me, she says, just share your passion. And I'm passing that on to you. It's great to see 20 people sharing their passion here tonight. It's great to be talking about these things, but um, I've got a challenge for you. It doesn't have to be a grand passion. I spent 30 days in 30 pubs, supping 30 pints to find the best pints around my house in Sligo. It was a great research project, but that did lead to the idea of, of my startup. I'm not changing water, recycled water into, uh, into, into drinking water, but the idea is talk doesn't cook rice. It's great to be talking, and actually right now in Dublin at the NPRC, there are dozens of companies that are pitching ideas tonight on Friday, and over this startup weekend, they will actually build the things that they're talking about by Sunday. It's not a big deal, start with a sketch, get some things down on paper. I'd like to say that the sketch was done a few weeks ago, it was actually done in 2007. Talk doesn't cook rice. But get it down on paper so you can show it yourself, you can show it to other people. When I was at Crayola, Sandy had this great statement, happy people make money. Are you happy? Are the people you work with happy? Are the people you want to work with happy? Happy people make money. The good news is there's a ton of happy people in this room. There's a ton of creative people. These are the guys that I worked with in getting perfectpints.com off the ground. They're all from the Northwest. We've got the Sligo Mafia on the left-hand side, and we've got the Donegal folks on the right-hand side. There's people in here and right around the corner that you can be work with. Work with to make these things happen. And as much as I get older, I would like to say, I have wisdom to share with you. I go back to what an eight year old boy said when we were doing some research at Crayola. And he said, Everyone has an imagination. Some people just don't use it. Right? And so I'll pretty much end where I started. Um, in the spirit of Bruce Mao, standing up here with his glass of water, and I'm challenging everyone in this room to think about what are you going to do? Um, the one thing that I was told, uh, or at least from the site, was uh, I've heard that the best pint in Westport is at McGing's. Um, 
If you don't agree with that, or you do agree with that, you can always go on to perfectplants.com and have your say. All right? God bless.